Now, Fox Weather is tracking newly designated Invest 92L, and it's one worth watching for sure. We know that we've had a bit of a quiet portion of the Atlantic season, and it remains quiet during the peak of the season now, but there is a chance that we could see our next named storm and that could be soon. So joining me to discuss the state of the tropics is Dr. Carl Schreck, senior research scholar at North Carolina State University. Doctor, I want to thank you for joining us here this afternoon, being here to talk about this. Um, I kind of want to get right into it because we've been seeing a nice, decent chance of development when it comes to Invest 92L. Some computer, computer models even forecasting that this could be and strengthen into a hurricane. So what are your thoughts in, in, in either that being an, an option or this kind of fizzling out? The last couple of waves we've watched kind of fought through some really, really treacherous conditions, and that's what we have at play right now. Yeah, that's a great question. You know, certainly uh, this does look a lot like the wave we had about a week ago that we thought was also going to develop and be a hurricane. Uh, it seems like this one has a bit better convection going on, and that's been the main thing that has been holding up the hurricane season so far, that you know, usually we're looking at a quiet season because there's too much vertical wind shear that the storms are getting sheared apart by the upper-level jets. This year, it seems like it's been more dry air and subsidence, like you know, air going downwards and keeping it too dry and warm. And you know, as you're seeing in that satellite image right there, there's a, a good healthy amount of uh, thunderstorms associated with this wave. So it seems like it's got a better chance of uh, getting going. And, and I, I think I would agree with that as, as well. And I think even farther down the line, I think a lot of folks maybe here closer at home along the East Coast, the Eastern Seaboard, they're maybe watching this one too, because there has been a couple of hints uh, that there's a big dip in the jet stream that may protect the East Coast. But we'll have to see how that kind of plays out. Where do you see the track in terms of this disturbance? Could that continue to be the case if this does develop? Yeah, I mean, it's always hard to know before the storm actually forms. Mm -hmm. But most of the model guidance is showing that it would stay off uh, off the eastern seaboard and you know not have major impacts. Um, but you know, of course, we thought that a couple of weeks ago with uh, Barrel as well. So uh, things can al always change as the storm uh, evolves. Absolutely. Now, I kind of want to pick your brain on the season thus far in general, because we've had a lull in the season, and that's still continuing to kind of play out at this moment, in, even though we have Invest 92L. What are your thoughts in that, especially when you compare it to last year? We had a quiet September, at least a good portion of it. And then by the end of September, October, we had Helene, we had Milton. So what are your thoughts this year? Yeah, I mean, I, I live here in Asheville, North Carolina, so certainly uh, mm -hmm. the, the similarities to last year are unnerving, but uh, the odds of a, another storm exactly like Helene are thankfully low. Um, but I would expect the uh, season to pick up more during the month of October. Um, you know, the next couple of weeks, you know, maybe get something here out of 92L, um, maybe something get, coming out of the Central American Gyre, similar to what Helene did, uh, you know, last year. but. Obviously, again, very different scenario. Um, but yeah, the you know the Caribbean is still very hot. Uh, we expect that vertical wind shear to remain low since we're still in the La Nina situation. So I would expect it. You know, once we get through this lull over the next week or so, things will eventually pick up. Yeah, it's certainly worth watching, certainly worth having a plan in place for our viewers that are watching. Um, right now, you talked about the Central American Gyre, and I was also talking about earlier in our show that low pressure system off the Carolina coastline. So as we get deeper into the fall months, and you talked about how the gyre usually plays a big role in some of those homegrown systems, what are your thoughts on that? Do you think that's something that we'll have to watch, certainly going into the latter half of the season, maybe the uptick of our main formation rather than the main development region? Yeah, and I mean, in some ways, this uh, system off the Carolina coast is almost emblematic of you know what a weird season we've had. You know, a lot of other years, I feel like that's something that might have had a chance to develop into a tropical storm. Uh, thankfully, you know, it's still going to cause plenty of rain, but thankfully, won't uh, hopefully in intensify beyond that. Um, but yeah, certainly, you know, with, with how warm the uh, the Caribbean is. Uh, definitely expecting to see things coming out of both the Central American Gyre, um, you know, this area to watch here. It's, that's the tricky thing with the Central American Gyre. You don't always know which side of Central America the storm is going to form. You know, maybe something forms there, maybe something forms on the uh, Caribbean side or both, depending on the timing of everything.
All right. Well, listen, it was such a great conversation ha being had with you, Dr. Shrek. I want to thank you again for joining us here on Fox Weather. I'm sending you thoughts there in Asheville. I spent some time down there uh, last year reporting on Helene. So, of course, sending you guys good vibes going into the latter half of the season. Thank you so much.